Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie. I am back and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys what I carry in my backpack. So what do I carry in my backpack every day I go to PA school? Um, so those of you who are interested, just keep watching. So first off, one of the things I recommend uh, before you start PA school is to get a sturdy backpack. Um, doesn't have to be a fancy one. Mine was literally like a really cheap one as you can tell. It was from Walmart. It was around like 25 bucks, but it's lasted me and it's been really, really sturdy. I know some of my classmates uh, bought really nice expensive ones and it didn't really last um, because I'm, I'm taking this usually all day and I have uh, some books in here and I carry a lot of stuff in there. I carry my laptop every day and my tablet so that's why I really really recommend you to get a very sturdy backpack for PA school and then on top of that sometimes I carry my equipment with me which is my like otoscope my stethoscope and everything I have a different bag but sometimes I'm able to put that bag in here that way I'm not carrying a lot of stuff and then on top of that sometimes I have to carry my lunch bag so I mean that's a lot of stuff to be carrying so that's why it's really important to get a large backpack and then also something, a backpack that has on the side um, where you can put your water bottles, drinks. I usually have a Starbucks double shot that I'm addicted to. I'm always carrying one here on this side and then I'll have a water bottle on the other side. And then the fact that my backpack has, has a lot of compartments, pretty cool. Um, I carry my headphones. So that's why I really recommend you to invest in a good backpack. Um, a sturdy backpack that's going to last you your didactic year even into your clinical year so this backpack has served me very well and it hasn't ripped or anything and i'm always carrying it everywhere so i just wanted to talk about what i carry in my backpack so um to start usually what i have in my backpack is i'll carry my comic book i made a review about this in another video um, I really recommend my comic book. I usually just look at this for a quick review over whatever we're going through. So this is why I always carry this with me. And then I also have a bunch of um, cables in my backpack, whether it is for my iPad, whether it's to charge my iPhone, and whether it's also to charge my computer just in case I need to charge it since I usually spend all day on campus during the week and sometimes even on weekends so that's why I always carry my cables with me I also have on one of my compartments here I have spare pencils um, lead in case sometimes for some of my exams they'll give us scratch paper um, for example for my pharmacology exam sometimes we had to calculate how to dose certain prescription so that's why they give us paper so we can write on that or anatomy sometimes you have to draw out for me since I'm a critical thinker and a visual person I have to draw out stuff so it, I can better answer the questions so that's why I carry my pencils extra pencils with me pens also um, another thing that I do carry that I actually took out is my laptop I'll carry my laptop uh, thankfully my backpack has a compartment in the back where I can just slide in my backpack my sorry my laptop guys and it doesn't get damaged since I'm throwing my backpack all around so my classmates do have a separate bag for their laptop and we carry our laptop every day I have it with me every day my classmates have them with them every day in class because um, during class we have to take like mini quizzes before lecture starts to see whether we actually prepared for lecture and so that's why I always bring my um, laptop on top of that also for exams. Uh, another thing that I also have in my backpack is my iPad which I'm actually charging right now but I always carry my iPad with me and I actually have a separate sleeve for this because I don't want it to get damaged. I actually got the new iPad. Um, I have the iPad Pro 2018. I really really recommend an iPad. Uh, before I started PA school, even during my first semester, I told myself I was going to use an iPad and I remember some of my classmates were like, no, I prefer to just print out the PowerPoints and then towards mid-semester they suckered in to buying an iPad and I can say that I ended up purchasing one also because it's been really good. Um, specifically the iPad Pro, I really recommend it. This new one has even a keyboard, 
Um, and it also has a pen for it also. So this is a sleeve I usually carry my iPad in and then the pen that also comes with the iPad. Pretty cool because it's just magnetic so I can just go like this and I'm not losing it because I tend to lose stuff very easily. So I carry my iPad everywhere. This is where I take all my notes, where I download um, all of my PowerPoints, where I have most of my test textbooks. Instead of having to carry them in my backpack, I have them all on here. Notability app is awesome. Um, I'll later make a review of how to use the iPad and how I use it for PA school, but I really, really recommend it. So I take this everywhere. I go with me. It's amazing. I actually use it more than my laptop. And of course, my wallet. So I always carry my wallet with me in my backpack. So yeah, that's basically everything that is in my backpack. Um, so that's why I really recommend for you guys that are about to start PA school specifically your didactic year to get a backpack, a good backpack, a large backpack that has several compartments so you can put your stuff in there. Um, so you can carry your, your laptop, whether you decide to purchase an iPad or not, where you can put your books in there, pens, pencils, um, water definitely because PA school you're going to be there from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., sometimes even longer. And so it's really important to stay hydrated, so carry a water bottle. And then coffee drinks, of course, because, I mean, in PA school, you're going to need coffee. And iPad, my laptop, extra pencils and pens. And then um, the days I have my patient encounter uh, days, then that's when I take my extra stuff, like my diagnostic kit, like my otoscope, and then um, etc. And also my lunch bag, also I take that with me every day unless I decide to buy stuff like at school for lunch. But I try to avoid that because I try to save as much money as I can for PA school. So yeah, hopefully this video um, helps you guys out a little bit. For those of you who are about to start PA school, PA school is really exciting. But then again, it's very hard. Um, and I think it's always important to be prepared the best you can. I wish I would have known this. I might have bought in a nicer backpack, but I was in a rush, so I went to Walmart and I just I purchased this one. Thankfully, it's lasted, but get yourself a good backpack that's going to last you um, throughout your didactic year. You're going to have it everywhere you go. You're going to place it everywhere. Mine's usually on the back of my chair, on the floor when there's no room, and I'm always I always have it with me seven days a week when I go study at the libraries on the weekends at the libraries, coffee shops, everywhere I have it with me, I have everything on there. So make sure you get a good, sturdy backpack. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching my videos. If you have any comments, um, make sure you comment below. I read all the comments and I'm really grateful for you guys. You guys are awesome. And if you like my videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.